For this example, we're asked to find the domain of a radical function. We have f of x is equal to 3 times the quantity x plus 5 plus 7 times the quantity x minus 1. Now, whenever we have an even indexed radical, such as a square root, we need to make sure that whatever we choose under the radical is greater than or equal to zero so that it produces a real number. So first of all, we just need to look at our first radical. And then we'll look at the second one. And I'm going to use a number line to help us come up with our answer. So we want to make sure when we have an even indexed radical, such as a square root, that we have what's underneath the radical greater than or equal to zero. Zero is fine. It just needs to be greater than or equal to zero. So in this case, x needs to be greater than or equal to negative five. Let's look at our second radical and do the same thing. We need to make sure that x minus one is greater than or equal to zero. So in this case, x has to be greater than or equal to one. Now, let's use a number line to help us. Okay, we have for our first piece of information, x has to be greater than or equal to negative five. So on the number line, it would look like this. I should add a one right here. And the other piece of information we have is that x needs to be greater than or equal to one, which really looks like this. So. How do we write the domain for this function f of x? Well, we need to choose the values that are common to both domains. So it's really going to be the intersection of these two domains. In other words, I can't choose a number to the left of one on the number line. For example, what if I wanted to include zero in my domain for this entire function? If I substitute zero in for x, in the second radical, I'd get 0 minus 1. I would have a negative number underneath the radical. And that's not a real number. So I need to restrict my domain to the intersection of these two. So I really need to start from 1. And I can say that my domain is such that the set of all x, such that x is greater than or equal to 1. Or I could write it in interval notation from 1 to infinity.